Hi! It's Kelly, Lily and Rich from One of Us Adventures. As you can see, we're now mobile and this week we are fixing our sights on trying to get our LPG tested, installed, up and running. Man, running this and making sure it was well protected. I also installed a few other bits and bobs and most importantly, getting it tested by an LPG safe plumber before finally searching high and low for that all elusive LPG fill up point. Okay, running, rerunning the gas pipe. The original hole that I've got here that I drilled and I bent the pipe round, I'm not gonna use. What I'm gonna do is bring it in where it's more accessible. It's gonna go straight down the floor, not above where I've got the gas tank. And then I should be able to bend it easier and have more access. As I'm boxing in in here anyway, I don't really mind it coming up like here next to this gas pipe. So that's what I'm going to do, but it's a nightmare. And getting hold of a LPG safe gas engineer to check this is also a nightmare. Now we want to get our bus gas obviously all signed off um, with a proper dwelling certificate and everything mainly for peace of mind. Uh, one of the things we all want to make sure is that the pipes in the back don't get damaged with anything we're chucking in. So today I'm gonna to make some box section, box it in, and then we'll insulate in there too. Before I can do that, I'm just gonna run a cable through for the water pipe. It's gonna follow in and around above where our trunking is. Um, so I'm just splicing that into the water pump wiring that's there and then we can hook it up to our control panel on the inside. Back in here, just running the cable for the water pump and running the cable for some more accessories in here before we finally put the floor back down. Hopefully finished in here for the time being. We made a good start on boxing in the pipes, but then the inevitable happened. Weather can't make his mind up today. It's been a pain in the up. After rain stop play, Dave came back the next day and mitered the joints. I installed some lights under here and then we attached it all to the baton that we put placed on the back the day before, insulated the box out, installed it with some self-tapping screws, and then finished it all off with a door. And this was to cover over our water pump. And this is what we've ended up with. Um, and we were gonna drive the bus to a plumber to get our certificate for our gas. However, two doors down, we found an LPG plumber we can basically tightness test it for us, check that it's all safe. The idea being then, once we know it's safe, we'll then drive it to the to the uh, plumber that can provide us with the actual with an actual certificate for our own peace of mind. And we know that's not going to be a wasted trip. So he's coming around in a minute, and we're going to see if any of the work that I've done is actually suitable at all. Whilst we're waiting for plumber man. I can't, I just cannot, st I cannot sit, sit still whilst waiting. So I'm just gonna do a couple of odd jobs. So where I cut the unit here, I need to put the edge band on. And it's strange, it's like a plastic edge band. So what I'm going to do is try and cut the angle bits with a knife, stick them on, try and make it match the rest of it. It's not, I know it's not gonna look exactly the same, but I should be able to make it look good enough. So I'm attaching it is with this double-sided tape which is heat and moisture resistant. This wasn't at all straightforward and I did have to have a couple of goes at it. Uh, it's not like battery finish but it looks good enough. Plumber didn't turn up so we'll take two tomorrow night. We'll get there. So the plumber did come, um, tested all the joints with a spray, but he didn't have the correct thing to do a pressure test, so we're still on the hunt for that. And meanwhile, just installing some bungee cord on here, on a carabiner on the top one, to just 
keep stuff from flying out when we're in transit. So I'm just gonna add some of these D sort of uh, hooks, four, uh, four of along here. And then on one of the bungees, attach it with a carabiner so I can just attach the top bit. That's gonna be the same in here. We're off to get gas, I've got a passenger. Well, we're off to get our gas tested. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. So we're here, we've driven to the plumber. He's just testing at the moment. So far, he says he's happy with it, which is great. Um, but just putting some LPG in it, and we're gonna use the gas sniffer just to make sure that embraces people. We're back now, so totally passed the gas test, uh, certificate in post sort of thing. We went down to get gas and they were shut. So there's only sort of like a handful of places around here that do it, do it. So we're just gonna check that that is sort of in stock and then we'll go and fill up. But at least we've passed the test. Um, and he said it was all very neat and very well done. So I'm very pleased with that. Now to find a station with gas. It's just like, just go fill it up and then tell us how much you need. And I'm like, I have no idea how this works. <laughs> There's like a bayonet bit in. First thing I need to do is find out which of those that is. I think it's that one. I don't know, but I think I've already got a bayonet bit in there. I think. Let's find out. Yeah. Not yet. We'll put ten feet in there. About. Yeah. Right. I think I think this is violent if it's not bad. Oh, uh, violent. <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's not as violent as I thought it would be. No. Yeah. Alright. So now we've got 10 litres of gas because the plumber, even though he crash tested it again with LPG in it, he was like, go, go and test it again. He was like, 100% it'll be fine, but do it with 10 litres, spray all the joints again. Um, and then you, you know before you fill up then that you're not going to have gas going sort of everywhere. It was his advice. So we did that with some spray, absolutely no problem at all. And then we had to test it out with a kettle. That's a feeble whistle. First cup of tea from the bus. Kelly's just popped out. Lily's enjoying a hot chocolate. And I'm having nothing because I don't like hot drinks but we have now got hot water and gas, so we're really happy. Yeah, um, join us on Sunday, normal video, to see if we make it and how we're preparing for our first outing at Overland International. But until then, we hope you have a great rest of your week. Take care, one, two, three. Bye. Bye.